Hey guys, in this video, I show you how I use two colors to make a fun two color distress on this sofa table. There really wasn't anything wrong with this sofa table. Um, it just needed an update, been passed around and um, was ready for a new life, a new look. Uh, and I wanted to do something that kind of added to the bones of the piece, but I also wanted to leave that gorgeous wood top. So I wanted the colors to complement the wood top too. So follow along and see how I did that with just some chalk paint. So whenever I'm doing a real detailed piece like this, I always flip it over so I can get to those nooks and crannies you sometimes miss whenever you have them right side up. I am using Annie Sloan Chicago Gray, and it does not have a sealer in it, so the chalk paint really adheres well to already finished pieces, so I don't have to strip or sand the existing uh, stain or poly or anything off this piece. I wanted to go for a heavier distress look, maybe not as heavy as this one that I've done before, um, but it turned out really cute on that buffet. So I was kind of going for more of a distressed charcoal look. So I'm doing the lighter color underneath just so it peeks through on some of those curves and bones of the piece on the legs. And then next up, I'm using Annie Sloan Color Graphite, and this is also chalk paint. It doesn't have a sealer in it. So after I get two coats of this chalk paint on, I distress it with sandpaper, and then I seal it with wax. I really love the ease of this paint and the coverage of it. It's usually about a one and a half to two coat coverage, just depending on the surface you're going over and the color you're using. But it's really forgiving as far as if I need to stop what I'm doing in the middle of painting, I can and I can come right back to it. You know, with kids that tends to happen a lot. And it also dries quickly, so you're not waiting around on paint to dry and you're not wasting more time on a project than really what you wanna be doing. So now I'm just taking some sandpaper and I am sanding back some of that graphite so that Chicago Gray peeks through, giving it just a little bit more of a distressed look. Now I am taking my small wax brush and my clear chalk paint wax. It's just both of them are by Annie Sloan and I am sealing the paint down. And what this does is it works into the pores of the paint because the paint is porous, it's water-based and it just continues to cure over time, which I love because you can spot treat and it is just a beautiful satin finish. So I turned the table right side up and I kept sending pictures to my mom. I was like, something is not right about this. And I realized I should have painted the skirt skirting on the table. It was just too blocky. And I thought, mm, for the look of the piece, it, all of it on the bottom needs to be painted. I am using my small round paintbrush on this one. And I really love it for getting in those grooves. It holds a lot of paint and they are so durable. They hold up for a really long time. If you ever look to invest in a great quality paintbrush, it's the small round or the medium round paintbrushes for bigger projects. But you can view our website for all the products that I'm using on here, and I'll be sure to put links down below in the description area. So here's the before and the after. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, would you have done differently? I mean, let me know. Would you have painted a different color? I really just love how the graphite is soft and it complements that wood top and it makes those wood tones kind of pop out a little more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We have more videos on there. I'm about to post a smooth finish tutorial on how you can get a smooth finish with just paintbrush and some sandpaper. Um, and if you don't follow us on social media, we have an Instagram and a Facebook page along with our store.